Hello world, this is Random Fix, and if you're looking for a budget-friendly, easy-to-use scan tool OBD2 reader, this is going to be it, guys. This is going to be the ML519, and this thing is super simple to use. It's got a nice interface. I'm going to show you guys how to use this. So if your check engine light is triggered on for whatever reason, and you're tired of running down to AutoZone and having somebody guess what your problem is or paying a mechanic 125 bucks just for the diagnostic trouble code, this is gonna allow you to do it at a fraction of the time, at a fraction of the cost. So let me go ahead and show you how to plug this in and we'll test out some of the features of this ML519. So this is the OBD2 connector. And the nice thing is on most vehicles, you'll locate where this connector needs to actually go within a few seconds and it's gonna be around the driver's side wheel well area. And on this one, it's gonna be this connector right here. And the nice thing about this is, is it only goes in one way, so you cannot get this wrong. And with that connector secure, now we have power, and I'm gonna show you how to use the rest of these features. So in order to get the OBD2 reader to communicate, you wanna put the key in the ignition and then turn it to the run position, but do not turn the motor on. With my ignition on now, I'm gonna be able to show you guys some of the features of this. So we got the OBD2 reader right here. And we got the readiness test, so if you're p trying to pass an emissions test, uh, this will let you know if you, there's any monitors that are incomplete. We got a DTC, which is Diagnostic Trouble Code Lookup. We got a review data feature here, so it could play back some data that you recorded. We could print data, we got setup, and we got the about, which will let you know your uh, scanner's serial number and software version. So. The setup here really quick is all here. You can choose languages. So we got three languages you can choose from. And we got the update mode right there too. So let's go to the OBD2 side. And as you can see, I have a little exclamation mark here. That just lets me know that uh, the vehicle is not completely ready. So we're going to choose the top module here. Now we can read codes, erase codes, or view live data. We're going to view live data. And we're going to click on view data. And complete data set. Now if I turn the ignition on. So the list is pretty comprehensive on the live data you can access. And now we're going to go to the readiness test, which we can access right here. Or we can go ahead and hit this IM button right here. And this is a really nice and easy to understand interface here. So as you can see, my catalyst isn't ready, my EGR isn't ready, my O2 heater isn't ready, my oxygen sensor isn't ready, EVAP system isn't ready. So if you go to look at a vehicle, potentially for one that to purchase, and you see something like this, that just shows you before you got there, somebody erased the check engine lights, and you probably want to go get a pre-sale inspection done on this vehicle now. And we get the DTC lookup right here. So I can go in here and put in a P420 code. So it gives me the actual code definition, which the catalyst system efficiency is below threshold on bank one. So that's pretty cool. But now let's go ahead and uh, make sure this can properly erase the check engine light. N now I'm going to go ahead and trigger a check engine light, just to show you that this can properly erase the check engine light with no issues. As you can see, my check engine light is now on. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and erase that check engine light. And one thing that's really cool about it now, since there's an actual active check engine light, you'll actually see this turn red down here, which just kind of alerts you on what's going on. And we got two codes here. We got a 102 and a P113.
And if you go ahead and hit this little tiny question mark down here, it'll actually give you a quick definition on what's going on. And you can do this for each one of the codes. So that's pretty cool. Really does kind of point you in the right direction on possible causes. And we're going to go and erase this check engine light now. And we're going to hit yes. And yes again. Alright, so the erase is done. I should have no more check engine lights. Check engine light is gone now, so. Alright guys, well thanks for checking out the video. If you guys have any comments and questions, please leave them below. I'll have a link in the description box below as well for this. But if you are in the market for a great little OB2 reader that's easy to use and offers a whole bunch of features as well as the little helpful uh, guide here to point you in the right direction. This is definitely the one to consider. So thanks again for watching and have a great day. If this is the first time you guys are checking out the channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that little subscribe button right here and checking out that notification bell. So anytime I post videos that are aimed to save you time and money that you'll get notified. Have a great day. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.